I'm in the Chilterns in Oxfordshire and I'm just walking through this beautiful deciduous woodland. It looks like a real wildlife haven to me. But I'm not really focusing on what's up there so much. I'm gonna focus more about what's down here, down in the leaf litter, because leaf litter is a really, really important resource for many of our mi mini beasts. It creates its own little mini ecosystem, if you like, and there's all sorts of predatory interplay going on between the different creatures that live down here in this leaf litter. And if you can see behind me here, there's loads of dead wood around. Now normally that doesn't sound like a good thing, does it? But dead wood is perfect for wildlife. And I spent a lot of hours of my childhood looking under logs. It's one of the things which first got me into wildlife, I would say, actually. So I'm just going to regain a bit of youth and look under some logs and hopefully we'll be able to find some really interesting animals. Another thing about today is I forgot to pack my camera. So this is all done on a mobile phone. So, I mean, if this, you know, it's the definition of an amateur naturalist film, I guess. But let's see what we can find. Ooh, this is pretty cool. Let me just see if I can grab it. Right. Look at that, isn't that wonderful? This is one of the most impressive predatory insects in the whole of the UK. It's a species of ground beetle. Now there are multiple species of ground beetle in the UK, but this is by far one of the biggest and the most impressive. It's the violet ground beetle. Now I'm not sure whether you can see why it's called that at the moment, but if I move it from side to side, you should be able to see a violet sheen coming off the elytra and the thorax of that animal. Isn't that beautiful? Now, I've said these are predatory animals. People often call them the lion of the forest floor, which seems, seems a bit over the top, but they really are ferocious predators. At the moment, as I picked it up, it's starting to regurgitate a little liquid, which, if I go up close, smells very, very strong. It smells very, very acidic indeed. It contains loads of enzymes and they enable, it enables the violet ground beetle to overcome prey much bigger than itself. The normal prey of a violet ground beetle would be things like slugs and snails. What the animal will do, it will bite the slug or the snail, inject some of that liquid, and the enzyme liquid will start turning the inside of that snail into liquid. And once the inside of the slug or snail turns into liquid, then, well obviously their organs will start to break down, and this guy can then lap up the insides like a milkshake. Now when I move the beetle from side to side and you see that violet colour, that means the exoskeleton of this animal has a property called iridescence, and that is a form of structural colour. It's a bit like a CD. If you turn over the side of a CD, you can see different colours of the rainbow, and you see different colours when you move the CD from side to side, right? And that's exactly the same with this violet ground beetle. Now, I'm pretty sure that no one yet knows why the violet ground beetle is that colour, but research that has been published recently has shown that iridescence can be used as a form of camouflage, and that camouflage can be used to escape insect vision, bird vision, and human vision as well. And it seems to be pretty widespread in nature. But whether that's what the violet ground beetle's using its iridescence for, I'm not too sure. It's a beautiful animal. It's one of those animals which you can just, you know, find in your own backyard and get really hands-on with. So it's really good. When I look back, it's probably one of the things which really got me into nature, getting up close and personal to really cool, fascinating creatures like these right on your doorstep. Beautiful, ferocious, little predator that's carved out its own little niche on the forest floor in amongst the leaf litter in this deciduous woodland. It's incredible. Before I put it back, I'm going to show you how fast it is. So I'll take the camera from here. Here we go. Look at that. <laughs> and it's gone. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to give this video a like and more importantly, subscribe. The button's just down there or just beside me there. 
I've also recently got a brand new Facebook page, so make sure you give that a like. The link is just below me right now um, to receive all the latest updates on my wildlife adventures. So for the meantime, I'll see you next time.